Hi, I'm Monica and welcome to my review for The Last Tale of the Flower Bride by Rokshani Chakshi. This is an adult gothic fantasy book with very flowery writing and somewhat questionable characters. And I did end up rating this book a 2.5 out of 5 stars. Before I get into my review, here's a quick summary of what the book's about. We follow an unnamed scholar of Ms. who quickly falls for the mysterious and beautiful heiress Indigo. They quickly get married and are very much enraptured with each other. However, the bridegroom's past still haunts him with his little brother's disappearance. And once Indigo's aunt falls ill, our couple goes to her childhood home which is filled with secrets and sadness. And onto my very quick review of this book, I would describe my feelings for this book as being very mixed. There was a lot of ups and downs in this book for me. First, I do think that the prose was very lyrical and very flowy, but I do think it did overshadow the plot and even the characters at times. The highlight of the book for me was the gothic atmosphere as well as sprinkles of stories of the fae throughout the book. And we also see how lost children tried to cope and navigate quite difficult situations in their childhood and then how they kind of translate that to adulthood. We have two different points of views. The first one is the bridegroom, which is the husband of Indigo. His little brother that went missing, actually everyone except for the bridegroom forgot about him. It's like his entire existence was erased from the world. So I didn't like having that mystery aspect in the book and trying to figure out what happened to this guy's little brother. And I would say another main factor of this book is the marriage with Indigo and their relationship is very strange and weird to me. <laughs> Indigo is a woman that really likes to play games. She weaves in fairy tales and myths into these games slash tests for her husband and she constantly reminds him not to pry into her past or else. <laughs> To be honest, I didn't really buy into their relationship because there were so many secrets and there wasn't much of a build up in the beginning. It was just like they saw each other across the room and they had a very intriguing conversation and this is in the first chapter. The second point of view is Azure and this is Indigo's best friend from childhood. Azure actually also disappeared and we find out this information when we arrived at Indigo's childhood home known as the House of Dreams. The biggest focus in Azure's point of view is again another relationship or her friendship with Indigo and their friendship is another one that is very strange, it's very toxic, it's very codependent which I understand at the time that they're kids and they don't really know any better with no parental figures around. They're doing their best to cope with what they're given. However, with the basis of this book being Indigo in both points of views, it really left me disinterested in both points of views and it really made for a very slow moving book for me. I thought it would have been a little bit more intriguing but I think the writing was too much on the really flowy type of side that it really distracted from what was going on in the plot. The ending of the book wasn't a total surprise but I really do give huge credit to the author for her style of writing which isn't always my taste so <laughs> there's that. I did want more of a connection with our characters and unfortunately I did not get that. I did appreciate how everything was connected together in the end and how our characters navigate to the best of their ability through quite strange and difficult situations. I guess I was expecting something a little bit more plot driven and not resting the entire story in the book on the shoulders of a toxic character, which is Indigo. I really did not like Indigo, but in the end you do see how everything played out and it does make for a good ending, but to get there was a very long struggle. And those are all my thoughts on this book and by the time that you're seeing this video, I am on vacation and you'll figure out where I went in a couple of weeks when those vlogs go up. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. And don't forget to ring the notification bell to not miss any future uploads. And I'll see you all in my next one. Bye. Thank you.